so we got a lot done on the car recently. I actually filmed like two whole videos of uh, what we got done and something happened to the memory card. I mean, the videos look like they're there, but nothing can open them or read them. So it's kind of uh, really sad, but this is gonna be a super quick video and you guys are gonna get fully filled in on where I'm at with the car. So, as you can see behind me, it's really looking like a car. Like we actually, we punched it out of the park on the weekend and uh, last week we got a lot of jobs done. So let's kind of start from the back. What we did, and uh, the reason why I did it, and uh, the car actually starts and runs. So potentially I could start it up. I got a couple more things that we're working on with the ECU stuff, but potentially I could start this thing up. So. We really started with the panels because I wanted to make sure it's ready for the uh, vinyl guy. Actually, let's start back at the start of the video where from the last video that we did, we started working on the oil lines. So all those oil lines actually are in there and work and go down to the bottom. I know that looks like a complete mess down there, but we will go up on the lift later. I can show you underneath there, but oil lines for the turbos. That was one job that we had on there and that's 100% buttoned up. So that was super sweet. So we got that done. We got all the harnesses in. We, uh, the panels was our next job, to be honest. We uh, wanted to make sure it was ready for the vinyl guy. And so long as everything fitted and I had everything, it wouldn't be an issue. So we'd been working away and getting all the panels on and fitted and making sure our gaps were good. And uh, yeah, so that all, that all went super smooth, to be honest. No. No major issues, I had everything I needed in stock. So we kind of chipped away at that. It's probably about a day's worth of work. Started from the back, worked our way to the front. Everything fitted up great. So I really have no complaints there. Our new Amazon side skirts that we got, they actually fitted up killer. I'll probably get another set of them because that worked really well. So we got all the body panels in. Then we had our damaged exhaust from last time. So we, uh, we actually managed to reuse this centerpiece here. And uh, we went down to uh, Fresh Produce and I tacked it all together with where I wanted and Corey put it on the positioner and spun it up for us. And uh, he got all that stuff welded. So that was super sweet. So thanks Corey for doing that. So we got that done. And then we started bleeding. So the next process was to bleed. I started with the coolant, um, yeah, so let's go through that. One of the things that we didn't really account for here was we never really checked the final ride height. I did give Silvers the suspension height that I was hoping for and they nailed it. The car's super low and we've still got plenty of travel, so that's sick. But. This is at full droop, which we knew was going to be pretty close, but may look like I've been snorting cocaine. I swear I haven't. It's just fiberglass dust. So we just chopped up a bit of this bumper and then took this whole inner lip out of here. So hopefully we can get some clearance on the wheels. I do kind of like the look of them fitting properly, so we are going to try to keep that on this car, even though it's kind of pro-ish. So we'll see what happens with that, but we chopped it all up, put it back on, let's drop it down on the ground, see how it looks, so hopefully it looks pretty sweet. Some of the other things we worked on is we got all the brakes bled over the weekend, everything was obviously coolant wise was bled up, we did have to tighten the alternator belt once it started, you can see I got plenty of heat into the headers, we set the timing, so we set it at zero when I marked TDC when we originally did the motor. So all that stuff's been complete and uh, worked when we fired it up. So we're just about to start this thing up now. And I mean, she's a little more aggressive, but looks pretty sweet. So I mean, I could fit, I could fit a playing card in there. I couldn't fit much else, but I think maybe once we actually get the wheel on, and I'm pretty sure this wheel's going to have to come forwards here because it's sitting a fair way back in there. So once we get that fitting in that wheel arch a bit better. We got all the suspension to do, which is going to be this weekend's project, which you'll see coming up. But for now, we can roll it around. Fits pretty sweet. So we got over this side. 
Oh yeah, that's good enough, Sparky. I think the wheels are still not fitting in the in the arch properly, so. Yeah, let's get some of this dust off so we can jump in. See if this thing starts up. So definitely cold, so hopefully we get it to fire up and should be a good thing. If the alignment doesn't get it out, space is out really well. Yeah. And it won't look too ignorant. Come on, baby. No. I should get you a video of Sparky. Yeah? Where's the Where's my phone? Is my phone up on the bench now? Yes it is. Brings us to the end of this video, guys. We've got the Corvette on the left, E92 there for the moment. That thing's ready for its wheel alignment, so let's get into that. It's going to be one video. Next video is going to be prepping this thing, so we got a nice seat time car that we can do a bunch of laps in. So let's get after it. Next video is going to be this thing getting a wheel alignment. Let's, let's do it. Thanks for watching.